Good morning. Welcome to what ended up being like the most chaotic matchmaking ever. I hadn't realised that I was like that close to running out of agave. Agave? 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 I have no idea how you say it. Didn't shake the oat milk. Spilt the oat milk. Filled it up too high. Not enough space for my ice cubes. I usually put the ice cubes in at the start as well so they go all, you know, everything gets poured over them but you know. I haven't actually made one for a week and clearly I'm very rusty. I've just noticed that I feel like my hair has got a bit of like an orangey tinge to it and I literally just used my blue shampoo so I think that will be used again tonight. Welcome to what is potentially going to be a very chaotic day but I thought it would be a good day to film because we have got a big thing happening today. So today is actually the launch day for my Accomplish app. I am beyond excited to be able to share this with you. Actually, by the time this video goes up, it will be live. I am so excited. I will leave the link in the description box of this video for you. The first month is $1. So you guys have a month to try it out, see if it works for you. And I really, really hope some of you do. I'm so excited to be able to train alongside you, eat the same recipes as you, chat to you guys via the app. I really wanted to make sure this was like, had the feel of my one-to-one -one online coaching, but on an app. I don't really think that alongside the amazing team that I've worked with on this, we have been able to do it. You know, for such a chaotic matcha, it's definitely a good one. And to add to the chaos today, I'd totally forgotten that they, I thought there was a bird in my little, you know, my little straw thing that hangs from a tree. I think I showed you in the vlog where I, maybe the last vlog, the one before last where I did the garden. I really thought there was a little bird in it, but I think that's probably too good to be true, but I will go and check. Sorry, so what I was saying is I'd completely forgotten that on this app that's very similar to like Borrow My Doggy, that I says to this family that I would look after their two dogs for the day. And when I say, I adore these dogs, they are so sweet, but they are the worst kind of dogs to look after on a day that is gonna be full of calls and voice notes and things because they have got really bad um, separation anxiety. So they need a lot of care, a lot of attention. Usually that would be fine. Today, a little bit trickier because they are just doing a lot of crying and things, but I'll show you them in a sec because they're really cute and they're called Mocha and Kalua. Like who calls their dogs that? Such cool names. I feel like it's given me inspo for when Ellie and I eventually get a dog. But yeah, I want to spend, obviously, quite a bit of this video talking you through what is in the app. I know it's a bit different from my usual home content, but I just really want this channel to be everything about my life and launching this app is huge for me. So this is Kalua, who is such a cutie, but I think has, yeah, really bad separation. I don't know why I'm talking as if they can understand what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, it's super, super cute little dog. I have no idea the breeds of either of them. I think they are both crosses. And you're just gorgeous, aren't you? We've got the bathroom man here today, haven't we? Which has been a bit of a nightmare. And Ellie is out all day. Just trying to stay calm and chill and everything like that. Okay, so my Accomplish Fitness app. Wow, what to even say about this? What I'm gonna try and do is put a lot of screen recordings and kind of screenshots of what's in the app here, just so you can get a feel for it whilst I am chatting you through it at the same time. So I'm gonna be launching, apologies if you hear the occasional squeal in the background, by the way. I'm launching my Accomplish app with two workout programs on. This app will constantly be updated, so I really wanna to listen to your feedback, see what type of training you like to do, what different types of workout splits, maybe you're doing at home workouts with just kettlebells and you'd love a program for that and the idea is I can constantly add to it. It will initially be launching with two workout programs on there. The first workout program which is just my absolute baby, I adore this program so much, it's very very tried and tested, is the Feel Good Summit program. The whole basis of the Feel Good Summit program is that it's the ideal program to be doing in the lead up to summit where you want to feel your best on the inside and outside as well. I'm very aware that a lot of people have aesthetic goals and I'm conscious of leaning totally away from that because I think to ignore that is silly. I just hope that you guys that do have aesthetic goals, it's all for the right reasons. 
And I wanted to bring you a program which would help with fat loss if that is one of your goals, but also be amazing at building strength, giving you that incredible endorphin rush. I'm telling you, this Feel Good Summer program, if you want to post workouts, endorphin rush, this is literally the program for you. It's a fully gym-based program using lots of different types of equipment. The workout's generally made up of push, pull, legs. There are some days that are total upper body and abs and also more cardio focused days. This is personally exactly what I like to do in the lead up summer where I just wanna be feeling my most confident when you're on a holiday and in a bikini and everything. The other program that I'm launching with is the Total Beginner Program. This was very much based on your feedback. I'm aware that I have some people that watch my YouTube channel and also follow me on Instagram that are total beginners or people who, you know, you maybe done a bit of running in the past but have no experience with weightlifting and I really wanted to bring a program that can help you get started on this and eventually hopefully help you to move over to more advanced programs on the Accomplish app as well. This program is made up of full body, lower body, upper body, and there's also an optional cardio day on there as well. All the programs that ever go on to Accomplish will be designed to help you improve your strength and your fitness. And then what else is on the app? So we have a recipe book. I'm launching with a feel good summer recipe book, which is specifically more like summery focused recipes. Don't worry, they're not all salads and just green things. They are totally delicious. The one thing I can guarantee on this app is that all the food will taste insanely good because I'm such a foodie and if you think you're gonna be getting chicken rice and veg from me, think again. There are amazing recipes on there. I know you saw me make some of the recipes a couple of videos ago and they have the nutritional information on every single recipe. There's also a whole education section where I'll educate you on topics such as injury, macros, healthy living. There are so many things in that section. In the insights area, there's also somewhere that I can link my Spotify playlist. I've got a ton of other things already in the works for this app, including knee friendly workouts, injury, everything that I've been through over the last year and a half. As far as I'm aware, there is no app that fully gives you support through these difficult times. And boy, I know how difficult those times can be both mentally and physically. So I really wanna be there to support you. One of my goals was really to be able to bring the feel of my one-to-one -one online coaching. I've coached so many women over the last few years and I really know what provides you with the motivation. So having a chat feature on the app where you can actually just message me directly about things was incredibly important to me. I want it to be a place where I can provide you with support. You can ask me questions. If there's anything you're not sure about, you can just fire away on that and I will always get back to you as soon as possible. Also a place where you can add your progress photos and if you want to track things like your weight, you are able to. You can actually make collages of your progress photos as well. So put them side to side to actually see how you've got on with it. If you do have an aesthetic goal, there's also a built-in timer. So if a, an exercise states it's for 30 seconds, you can literally just click the timer and go, which is very convenient, if I do say so myself. Like I said, there will be new features added to this app all the time. So doing things like reviewing the workouts and giving me suggestions, which there's also a place to do on the app, is really helpful just to make sure that I am making the improvements and uploading the new content that you guys really wanna see. Anyway, I'm not gonna speak about this for the whole video. I thought it was really important that I start with it because it is now live. The link will be in the description box. And like I said, the first month is only $1, so you have the opportunities to try it, see if you like it before committing to it on a long-term basis. Please drop me a message on the app if you do end up signing up to it, just saying you've come from my YouTube, because I'd honestly really love to hear from you. And also thanks so much for all of your support and also being patient with me. I am aware that I work in the fitness industry and due to my injury, I've hardly been able to even provide you with workouts over the last year and a half almost. <laughs> Um, but we are getting there slowly and I appreciate those of you who've been really supportive along my journey as well. But yes, all the information will be down below. So as a lot of you will know, I am going on my friend Megan's Hendu next week. Do you know what's really annoying? I actually brought my vlogging camera to the launch of her Bluey swimwear gymwear brand. I'm sure some of you inevitably will have purchased things from it. Film one clip of us at the beginning, which maybe I'll add in here, and then just literally didn't film anything else, which is just so silly. So it's 12.45 and we're starting on the frapper all spritz because I'm such an itchy face. <laughs> Megan's got really bad hay fever today. It's the launch day for Bluey and we are at Megan's. There's for Megan. Megan. Yeah. Megan, it's for Megan. These are so good, aren't they? I've just put it all over my shoe. Yeah, a frozen Aperol spritz, like what the hell? Um, but we are actually really early, so we're just getting the drinks in. Well, we haven't doors. set anything up yet, have we? No. So. What's cute about this as well is this was actually one of the first places that I came to with you. 
which yeah, is really sweet it? for brunch. And I had to borrow my doggy that day. I remember that actually. And I've had to borrow my doggy this week. Do you remember I had that little? Did you? Yeah, the little cream one, and it was really nervous. Yeah, that was so nervous. It was much darker. Then. We've got a lovely sunny day. We've got a lovely sunny the day. The roof's off, and it's all going to be decorated with butterflies. Bluey theme, just like butterflies. You should show your um, oh, yeah. your jeans. Sure. Megan's had these jeans made and they're literally so cute. I, don't, I can't see anything. Oh, there you go, you can see them. They're so cute and a matching little jacket as well. <laughs> and I'm going to be wearing the top. <laughs> I'm going to be wearing the um, the khaki, desert khaki version of the pink top. But I think we were so just absorbed in the whole day. It was just so much fun. Anyway, though, I, I'm actually going to show you the bikini that I got in a little bit though because I'm absolutely taking it on the handy because it's just beautiful and so gorgeous and soft. I just want to show you a dress that I have bought which I'm hopefully going to be taking on the handy if it um if it fits me okay. Really annoyingly I tried to rent this gorgeous black dress with kind of like multicolor things on not very good description from her the rental place like h-u-r-r -R. and the girl just messaged me today to say oh sorry she's just not posted it <laughs> so i was like oh okay that's really inconvenient thank you so much um which is a bit of a pain but i've asked to borrow it for megan and niall's actual wedding because i think it's gonna be a really nice like it's uh, even though it's black it is quite like summery vibes but I bought this dress from Rixo. I splashed out and I noticed something straight after I had purchased it. Oh, it looks lovely. I'll show you it first, actually. So super cute, kind of like an animal print, I guess. I bought this in a size small, but I am actually a little bit worried because I usually wear a UK size eight and the size small is UK size 10, whereas usually it's like an eight slash 10. And I don't know whether I have purchase that in a size that's actually a little bit too big for me but we will have a look anyway I think size small might have been sold out but Rixo Rixo is such a gorgeous brand I don't know if you recognize the label at all I got the confirmation email from the order and I looked at it and it said a little thing about like a note from our founders or something and one of the owners I went to school with I was like that is so strange I recognized her straight away and I was like I'm sure she's called Henrietta and went to my school. Um, and sure enough, she did. And she's called Henrietta Ricks and the brand is called Rixo. So yeah, she started it up with a friend, which made me even happier that I supported the brand. So even though it was a little bit more of an expensive purchase, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wear it obviously whenever I want to wear it. But I'm also gonna put it on the Buy Rotation app and you can basically rent clothes from there. So. Maybe I'll link that down below if I put it up on there. Um, which means that you guys could actually borrow it off me if you wanted to. I just think it's quite a nice thing to do. I've rented clothes from there before. I actually rented it top for my birthday last year and I rented a top for my sister's birthday last year. And it's just a really nice, more sustainable way of having new clothes available to you. But yeah, I'm just really hoping that fits because I just have a feeling it's gonna be a little bit too big. I don't know. We'll try it on upstairs. I'm going to take you upstairs and show you a few more of the bits that I've got. I was going to say, I have a feeling that I'm going to get chased up the stairs by these little doggos because they are like my shadows today. So I'm going to show you a couple of the things and just really hope that Megan doesn't watch this before we go on the hen do. Is that sensible? I might not show you. In fact, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show you what I've bought, I'm not gonna talk to you about themes or anything because I would be really annoyed if I spoiled it. And she said that I can actually take my camera with me. So I think what I'll do is, is take my vlogging camera and then I can actually show you what we've bought. Because me and Holly and Bryony, um, three of her bridesmaids, Bryony's actually the maid of honor, have actually done all of the kind of buying decorations kind of thing. So I've got quite a lot of them here. And they look so cute. I've actually got another dress, which I'm gonna show you also lol this is my on the go travel ice pack which i'm gonna have to use twice a day because i can't bring my huge like industrial icing thing that i use at the moment no priorities and um, but this dress this dress my friend kindly lent me she sent it in the post and it's from rat and boa very difficult to see what it looks like here but it's basically a zebra a zebra dress which has a cool tie thing and it's actually so perfect for 
oh I'm really not showing you this very well I don't know if you can picture what it looks like but it's very kind of like flowy even though it's more of like a stretchier material and it's got like a big tie thing here perfect for a bloated day so it's great for me because if I have a day that I'm like I, some, I get so bloated that sometimes I have days where I'm like I literally could not wear that because I'm so bloated so that is just going to be perfect so I will be taking that I just realized then two of the dresses I've got are like an animal print vibe so I don't know how that's going to work and then without giving anything away I've got a gold dress there's a reason for having a gold dress and I'm not going to go into it here I just picked picked this up very last minute I actually think the shape is going to be quite nice it's quite flattering and again quite good for a bloated day so yeah it's sort of asymmetric has a cute little bag very like shiny gold and um, but there is a bit of a reason why it's a gold dress if that makes sense and then i want to show you the bikini because the bluey bikini that i have got to go with me is going to be just so nice so i went for the desert khaki color in the multi-way top which you can wear in a variety of different ways as the name probably tells you so you can obviously tie it around your neck that way or you can wear it how is it they do it oh this way which is obviously a very in fashion at the moment isn't it this way and then tie it like that and also like cross it over in a very cool way and yeah i tried all of these on at megan's house and they're just such a gorgeous design and then this is the cheeky bottom which just sits so perfectly not as like a fully high waist bikini, but just below the belly button, which is where I probably feel most confident. I actually don't think, I love a high waisted bikini, but I don't know if my body type really lends itself to something super high waisted. I don't know what it is. I just think it cuts me off at a slightly weird place. So I think the fact that this is nice and like high leg and goes in, in a nice way, is just going to be perfect. And look at that material close up all made from i think it's around 70 percent recycled materials ethically made and just like buttery soft i actually have ended up ordering a few little bits for this holiday because i've got a few holidays coming up and i did a big clear out of clothes when i moved in i took lots of charity sold a lot on depop and this year since we moved into this house i have bought virtually nothing and basically everything that i bought has been from depop so i thought it was about time to just treat myself to a couple a couple of new little things so another thing i bought with these beach shorts kind of like toweling shorts i know these aren't going to be everyone's cup of tea but i think these are so cool and not on this holiday because we're not wearing white obviously because megan is the bride in her white but it looked really cool with a white bikini i think on this holiday i'll be wearing like, the black bikini i like the idea of them like folded over and just thought the detail so cute this is the same brand as the t-shirt that i wore in the last vlog the white t-shirt with like the colorful logo i actually think tomorrow i'm gonna start a new vlog just because i really want this one to go up tonight and maybe i'll start with like a packing vlog because i love watching people's packing vlogs i also got this at the bluey launch event a little skinny dip wash bag with blue butterflies on but i just thought what a perfect thing to take on a hand do and i've started filling it with a few things this i've actually used for years by the way this is a an spf spray thing that you can just put on when you're by the pool on the beach just if your makeup and um, if you are wearing makeup or skincare or whatever without having to like always rub your skin and i love it i have literally never been burnt with it on and yeah it's fat to 50 so would highly recommend i feel like i've got so many little like travel gadgety things so maybe a packing vlog tomorrow would actually be really fun so just want to show you the chaos that is our bathrooms and this is partially the reason why we've not had any home updates on the vlogs for a while but i don't know whether i explained properly but pretty much the previous um owners of this house have done this like micro cementing on our walls of our bathroom i'll show you in a second but you'll probably know what i mean quite a cool effect very kind of stylish on trend at the moment a lot of people are doing it in their bathrooms and um, we absolutely love how it looks but we suddenly just started getting water well damp coming through downstairs like water what do i mean there was water leakage obviously it wasn't physically water coming down but you could see the first signs of it and it was right above our 
shower in our ensuite bathroom. We had a plumber come and look around and he basically informed us that there's a bit of a problem with our sealant, so it's gone. So he came over to take the sealant out and do new sealant. And he was like, actually, it's a much bigger issue. Took the sealant out and there was literally a gap like this between where the wall finished. It's like a plasterboard wall that they've micro cemented over, which apparently you're not really meant to do anyway. Um, but where the wall finished and where the um, shower basin started. So the sealant's gone and water has literally just been coming through and the plasterboard wall is just soggy. So yeah, not necessarily our fault, but we needed to do something about it. Now, one plumber had recommended that we just tile the whole shower. I'm just gonna show you. So just in case you can't remember what it looked like, this is our shower. Yeah, one plumber was like, you just need to tile the shower, but he'd never really experienced micro cementing before. And I was like, well, if we can avoid it, we would like to avoid it because we do think that this wall look looks amazing. Also, excuse these taps, I think, I get worried that people think that we don't clean our taps, but they are so stained from the lime scale down here that we're actually gonna have to replace them because I have tried so many things and I literally cannot get any of this off. If anyone has any suggestions, let me know. But I think actually replacing them is probably the way forward. I would actually love to get unlacquered brass in a very similar design, um, which hopefully won't tarnish. But yeah, that's been scrubbed a lot and it still looks like that. This other plumber came up with the suggestion and what I would say is definitely go and get quotes from a few people because that was the best thing we did because we never would have come to this conclusion if we hadn't done that. And he has basically repaired it or filled in the plasterboard wall. This is the second coat of this waterproof, I don't know what that's called, like a waterproof coating, waterproof layer he's put on. And we are then going to do a tile trim all around the bottom. Now, don't get me wrong, this is far from ideal. I'd much prefer we didn't have to do that, but the idea of having another leaking situation and paying yet again more money is not particularly ideal. So we're just trying to decide at the moment what tile to get around the bottom. He said he can cut the tiles to size, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking either like a concrete effect one that sort of matches this and um, or is as close to it as possible or actually go white to obviously match the basin. And then we were having the same issue with this little thing in the wall, which again, really practical, but they hadn't angled it at all. So the water just pooled there, creating like a crack in it, which is obviously not good because that would mean eventually water would also come through there. And this wall is just completely hollow. <laughs> so yeah, a little bit of a design fault there. We are now gonna be putting a tile, hopefully just one large tile there um, so we can put our shampoo and conditioner there and not be worried that the water is going to come through downstairs. And then we actually haven't yet had a problem in the second bathroom, our main bathroom, um, but we are getting him to just tile that little, I don't know what it's called, like an inbuilt hole in the wall um, just in case it happens again because we were starting to get a little bit of black mould on it even though we wipe it down all the time but they just hadn't thought to like, yeah make sure that the water didn't pool. So this is what it's currently looking like and I don't quite know how we're, what we're gonna do about the tile in this section. I'm guessing we might have to do like a couple of tiles or I don't know, maybe it'll be like three because we're not gonna be getting a tile that long. You know, there's so many places in this house that I haven't actually vlogged yet. One of which is in this kind of corridor place. But yeah, it's literally crazy how we went from not even looking at house to purchasing this house and just learning everything about a house. I just find it so funny sometimes that we're like at this stage of our lives. Yesterday, Elliot was trying to set up a camera outside the house and I was like, I just don't feel like adult enough for this, which is quite strange. Like I just feel like I'm like a child living in a house, but maybe I'll always feel like that. I also find it funny because we're one of the first um, people out of our friends to have bought. So it makes me feel even weirder about it because it's not like I've got like loads of friends to be like, oh my God, the, how do you do this? Or how do you do that? Just constantly like YouTubing, Googling and like calling up parents about things. But we're guessing they were there and we have learned an awful lot and I'm just so grateful to be here. Sometimes in the evening, we'll just be downstairs and be like, I can't believe this house is ours. Like as if we live here. I just, I adore it so much. It's like everything, everything and more. Not even everything I'd ever hoped for. It's like far more than what I'd ever hoped for from a first home. I'm just, 
yeah, I'm so obsessed with it and it just feels so like home now, which is just amazing. I don't know why I've ended up giving you a whole spiel on homeowning and how much I love my house. <laughs> but yeah, just very grateful to be here. I'm being very honest, I actually lost a family member this morning because today was quite a big day for me in terms of app launch. Um, it's just felt so strange, you know, just like totally conflicting emotions. And I also feel like it just kind of puts everything into perspective a little bit. I'm actually gonna end the video here because I need time to edit these clips to get it out for you tonight in time for the launch. And yeah, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. I would love if you subscribed, if you do wanna stick around. And thank you to anybody who decides to join me on my new Accomplish app. I appreciate all of you so much. Everything will be in the description box. Love you all lots. Bye.